Good morning, everybody, or good afternoon, wherever you are. Um, in this lessons or this series of our advanced video project, uh, we will be creating, uh, take advantage of the PDO object in PHP, and how you can create a MySQL connection as well as classes to connect to your uh, SQL database, uh, C or My MySQL database and um and hopefully we'll also expand from this class connection class to a uh, user system yeah, okay so um the first thing we're gonna do is create a config file and also create the connection class all right so let's go ahead to go to our editor and let me quickly create the um folder where i'm gonna be storing our project I'm going to be using MAMP. Uh, where is my MAMP? Applications, MAMP. Okay, so under the MAMP, I'm going to create a folder just outside your HT Docs, just below your HT Docs uh, uh, public directory. We're going to create a folder called PDO Connection. So it's going to be like this. All right connection and then this would be your HD docs right so that would be uh, our PDO connection class it's under your HD docs and other structure folder would be HD docs and class uh, we're gonna call our project called advanced PDO and under that folder we're gonna create classes and HD docs advanced PDO called config and we're going to be using this this two folders for the for this project and we'll be adding some more uh if needed okay all right so that would be our folder structure and the pdo connection will then hold uh our pdo config php file okay and our the second file we're going to create would be PDO connection that PHP, which will then be stored in there, and the other uh, class will then be create created. Our user class would then be class that users that PHP. Okay, so for in this tutorial, we're just gonna create the config and PDO connection as well as necessary uh, as well as the class and necessary methods to create the connection. All right. Let me just comment this out. Actually, let me just delete this. All right, so let's save this file. And I'm going to save mine under PDO connection under my uh, uh, PDO oh, no. connection. Call it PDO config. Yeah. Oh, this is not my script. Okay, um, I'm gonna create another file. I'm gonna save this again uh, under in the directory called advanced PDO and a subdirectory called config. And call this PDO underscore connection at PHP. There we go. So <coughs> let's first write the code for the PDO config. And um, and we're going to store our config file or configurations under as an array called DB as a key. And we're going to be needing our host would be a local host in my case user the root pass password for me what I'm using here 
db name would be pdo project i've created that already and our port would be 8889 eight, for me i don't know what yours is but by default you would use 3306 That's it. Save that file. Now head over to your PDO connection and create a class. Let's create an abstract called connection. All right. And we're also going to create a protected variable, a property called PDO, PDO underscore con. And we're also going to need private. DSN user and password. All right, and let's build our constructor. And under our constructor is where we're going to be including the PDO config file. In my case, um, let's say require once. Uh, mine is somewhere under applications, MAMP, PDO connection. PDO config.php. Okay, yours might be uh, different. So if you're using Windows or Linux, uh, they, they, the full pad uh, is probably different. Okay. So um, first, let's uh, get the, the host from our config file. We'll config db host. And next is the DB name config DB DB name. And next one would be the port config DB port. Okay, now we want to create the DSN. And our DSN would simply be MySQL host uh, host and our port would be port and DB name would be DB name just like that and that's it now let's create the now we want to create a function protected function called start to s initialize our PDO connection and we'll put this in a try and catch blocks and we're catching PDO exception and we're just simply going to print out E and exit out if there's any error. Um, and we can then store our PDO connection under here, DSN. So take in the DSN and then the user and password. And that's how you simply create a PDO connection. Um, typically, you would log any errors and then exit out and display something else to the user. But in this case, we're not going to do that. We're just going to create our PDO, print out our error. So I'm just going to say create PDO connection or start video connection. Ah, uh, no, it's great. Uh, and then we also wanna start that when we, uh, in, the, in our constructor. So, uh, 
that's it. Um, so uh, I'll see you on the next video, part two of this tutorial. Um, don't forget to subscribe.